my name is Hannah if I haven't met you before so for today's devotional I just want to share something that has really just been challenging me and has been on my heart um, over the last few days so if you don't know me I am a worship leader here at One Life Church but I really feel that God ministers to me and speaks to me um, through worship and um, although he definitely speaks through his word and through other people but when I'm worshiping I just really feel God ministering and speaking to me and I was reminded that there is a man in the Bible or was a man in the Bible um, who was known as not only a worshiper but a warrior and his name was David um, and he was described in the Bible in 1 Samuel 13 verse 14 as being a man after God's own heart. And the Bible shows us that although David was this incredible warrior and king um, and really a hero in the Bible, um, he was also just a man who was flawed and had imperfections just like you and me. But um, the thing that I really just took away from this and the question that I have just been asking is, God, how can I be a woman or a man after your own heart? Um, Father, won't you show me what it is that moves your heart? So there's a song, like I said, I, I feel God speak to me through worship. The song is called Move Your Heart by Upper Room. And I love this song, probably listened to it on repeat maybe a few too many times. Um, so I recommend you go have a listen if you haven't. Um, but the lyrics that really stood out to me is this part where it says, Father, tell me what moves me, what moves you. Tell me what moves you. If it's a fragrance, then I'll pull my oil out. Is it a life laid down? Then here I give my vows. Is it a song that I sing? Then here's every melody. Father, tell me what moves you. What moves you? And so that is the question that has just really been on my heart. Um, is Father, what is it that I can give or I can do or I can grow in that will move the heart of God, that will move your heart. One of my favorite scriptures is from Psalm 51 verse 10, and it says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew my spirit within me. My favorite part of that whole scripture is the part that says, Create in me, O God. Um, and I love that because it's, it's a prayer, and I often have found that um, in times in my life where I know I've needed to grow or uh, there's some an area in my life where I'm lacking um, in my heart that is often what I pray over my life or uh, over my friends or whatever it is and so like let's ask this question God what is it that will move your heart Jesus create in me that thing oh God and um, so it could be, I'm not sure what it might be for you, maybe just ask God to show you, to make it clear to you, um, and just cry out, Father, create in me a clean heart. Lord Jesus, create in me a worshipful heart, like David, who danced undignified before the Lord, who worshiped you. Father, create in me that heart. Lord Jesus, create in me, maybe, an obedient heart, um, like Abraham, who left his country, who left his people, who left everything he knew simply because Jesus told him to go, because God told him to go, um, and he did, and he obeyed. Jesus, help me, Father, to grow in that heart. Jesus, maybe it's courage you're lacking. Oh, Jesus, created me a courageous heart, like Esther, who stood up for her people, who bravely went to the king and spoke on their behalf to save them. Lord Jesus, um, I'm lacking faith, or I want to grow in my faith. Won't you create in me a faithful heart, like the woman with the issue of blood, who simply touched a part of Jesus' coat and was, um, was completely healed because Jesus saw her faith. So that's the cry of my heart, and I just, um, whatever it is, if it's forgiveness, if it's patience, if it's courage, whatever it is, let's just say, God, what is it that will move your heart, and Jesus, create that in me.